So we finally made it to the point where our broken BMW i8 is mechanically sorted, and we could have called this a finished project, but with the amazing engine rebuild, I felt that it was only appropriate to fix up its poor body condition. Up close, my i8 is ridden with shoddy paintwork, broken panels, and multiple crack mounts. The nice thing about this BMW, though, is that it's put together like a Lego. Each body panel comes apart and can be worked on separately, but painting a car can be pretty technically challenging. Today, I plan to provide a very broad outline on how we got an amazing paint finish, but on a tight budget. Our major key to success here is my friend Zach. He's a very talented artist who enjoys turning junk into treasure. While I believe most people with the garage can replicate what you're about to see in this video, you'll have quite the advantage if you're creative. Now, I know a lot of you are already doubting your abilities when it comes to a job like this, but I encourage you to team up with a friend, learn the technical side of painting, and work together. Personally, I lack an artistic side, so I'm lucky to have Zach, and he's come to my rescue many times. Now, if you want a job like this done at a quality body shop, be prepared to pay up. What you're about to see would normally cost probably five figures, and if anyone quotes you less, at least in the United States, there's likely a few corners being cut. It's important to have a job like this, on a car like this, done right. It's also imperative you always know who you're dealing with, and that's why I've been using a Ring doorbell for the last few years. With Ring, there's no more guessing who's at your door or who's been at your door, as you're notified in real time of any guests or pests that stop by. Someone is at the front door. Hello? Pizza delivery. Sorry, we don't like that kind of pizza. What? Now, I just upgraded to Ring's Video Doorbell 3. Installation is simple and intuitive. All tools and hardware necessary are provided in the packaging, and the Ring app has step-by-step -step video instructions to get you all set up. One of my favorite features is the rechargeable battery, which lasts me up to several months of operation. It makes it so that anyone can set up their own video doorbell. There's no special wiring required. Now, I personally believe a Ring doorbell is one of the simplest but most important security solutions anybody could have at their home. And right now, when you visit ring.com slash samcrack, or just click the link in the description, box, you're going to get an exclusive deal on Ring's Welcome Kit, which includes one of their Video Doorbell 3s and their new Chime Pro. And if you're like me and you're using a prior Ring device, the Video Doorbell 3 is a really worthy upgrade. That's because it records the full 1080p high definition, and as you can see, the video quality is outstanding, and it has enhanced motion tracking and night vision, so you'll never miss any action at your front door. Again, that's at ring.com slash samcrack, and I want to give Ring a huge thanks for sponsoring this video. Now, last time we checked in on the i8, we dropped it off at Zach's place and disassembled all the body parts in preparation for its new paint job. The i8 is kind of a unique car because the body comes apart like Legos. Even the quarter panels, something that on like a sedan are welded to the car, these just pop right off and they're made out of plastic. Also, the door jams are raw carbon fiber and door jams add a lot of time when it comes to the preparation of painting an entire car. So we're not gonna need to paint those either. However, each panel separated like this does take up a solid amount of room in Zach's workshop. So there's a lot of taking parts in, preparing them, taking them back out, and doing them in multiple steps. And obviously painting is much different than mechanical work. As a DIYer, I tell you guys all the time, uh, whenever it comes to any of these jobs, you can do it on your own. All it takes is some money, guidance, and a proper set of tools. And this is true with paint, but it is a much different learning curve than doing anything mechanical on the car. So, as Zach is preparing and painting the car, I wanna point out some of the more important steps and give you a little insight as to how much everything costs. What I totally recommend for everybody is that you buy just the color you want at the paint store, but you're gonna to wanna to get all the materials from your sandpapers, the primers, and clears over at Eastwood. That saves me a ton of money. So the first step here, Zach is going to lay down a white primer on all the panels. This white primer costs about $150 for the primer and the catalyst that goes along with it, but it gives us a nice smooth surface to work off of. Everything is uniformly painted the same color, which means it's all gonna match perfectly when it's done. And when you spray that purple on top, just imagine using a purple crayon on a white piece of paper, it goes through very nicely and it will actually reduce the amount of material we need to use as we're laying down the base. Let's get over to the Ultimate Rebuilds garage and see how Zach lays it down. I have these parts sanded and they're ready to be primed right now. I just need to go over them with some wax and degreaser. The epoxy I'm using is Eastwood's white epoxy primer. It should be good for the color change we're going with. I'm only priming a couple pieces at a time. It's just my garage isn't really big enough for all of them. So we're gonna sand them, prime them, move them outside, and then move in new parts to be sanded and primed. This is the easiest way to do it. So let's do it.
After sealing off all our body panels in the white primer, Zach gave them a nice little scuff down and they're ready for base coat. But remember the BMW i8 is a two-tone car. So it has black accents on some body panels like the hood and the bumpers and then the rest the body color. We're changing the color of this car to BMW's individual twilight purple. This is a factory BMW color and it's an expensive one at that. Just three quarts of this at the paint shop cost over $700. Now purple is usually combined by mixing red and blue toners and those are the most expensive toners so this is why it is so expensive now i originally wanted to paint it the same viola parsifee that my lamborghini is painted but it is a three stage so it has a base a mid and a clear it's what gives it so much depth and that paint to just get the base in the mid costs well over $2,000 for three quarts. Since I do like to keep these DIY projects a little bit more on a budget, we went with the BMW purple, and you're gonna see Zach will lay it down with the Concourse Pro gun. This is another tool from Eastwood, and this gun is about a three or $400 gun. If you really just wanna get your feet wet, you can go to Harbor Freight and pick up a gun under $10, and I've seen great results with that same gun. So it's really more about the painter, Watch Zach's technique as he lays down the base and then watch his skills as he tapes off the accents to paint them black.
So right now Zach is going over everything he's painted. Two layers really covered very nice with this violet color. But we're making sure, because a lot of times when you're hitting the edges or whatnot, you know, it's really tough to see while you're painting exactly if everything's covered. Zach did a really good job here. I'm not finding a lot. There's a few little edges on like these pieces over here that we're gonna touch up. But otherwise, these panels are almost close for uh, clear coat. Now, a lot of auto body guys will say things like black is black. That means that black is very easy to color match. It's very easy to blend. And there are a lot of different shades of automotive blacks, but they all kind of look the same. And so when it came to buying the black that you saw Zach lay down on the i8, we just went and bought Eastwood's Boulevard black. They have a bunch of different colors of base coat. This is black with no metallic. And again, since we repainted the entire car, it all matches at the paint store one quart of black the cheapest black that they had to offer which is what they paint on the police cars was i think sixty dollars just for a quart this is a relative bargain and again it's why i don't buy anything at the local brick and mortar store except for the base color of the car now the clear coat we use i have a gallon of it up there it is eastwood's premium show clear they really just have two different types of clear coats this has a higher solid in it which means it should last longer and really the finish of the car will come out whenever we cut and buff it but for now it's time to let all the body panels sit hopefully the florida sun comes out and bakes them and uh we'll be assembling it in just a few short weeks brand new wing supports it seems to be a pretty common part because uh, they sell them at a lot of online stores and they were readily available at the dealer both of these were broken when we took it off and zach noticed why zach um show me what you just take this little clip thing off and it slides right here to unlock it yeah so there's like a trap here. door under here and if you don't know that the only other way to get it off is by destroying the wing support so now that that's off there's some movement in there we'll be able to lay this down and uh, put our wing in place. And this is ticket talking mother for the figures. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. This part costs too much money to uh, break, so we'll let Zach do it. And this is ticket talking mother for the figures. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. Zach, you tired yet? You kept me here all day. And in typical fashion, you did all the work. <laughs> yeah, what time did you get here? <laughs> hey, I sent you that video. Yeah. Zach, man, I am on my way, but I'm dealing with like every thing I possibly could be that's a slowdown, like what you see right now in front of me. It's mostly done, it's like 99. No, it's done, Zach. You knocked it out of the park. You really transformed the look of this car that looked awful before. Zach, I can't believe how smooth the paint laid down. You knocked it out of the park again. Every single time, each paint job gets better. So I'm hoping to talk you into a candy color next time.
<laughs> pay me a lot for that. If you guys want to see Zach's projects, I mean, this is outstanding. Zach, how much did this jet ski originally cost right here? Both of them for $300. <laughs> These are $300 jet skis. Zach is taking them all apart. I saw a couple taking apart motors in there. Yeah. And you become an expert on these things too. And I'm you got to. the beetle in the background. So check out Ultimate Rebuilds. Don't check out what's in the background right behind Zach right here. We're not going to talk about, talk about that. <laughs> but incredible work. I can't wait to clean this up and see what it looks like in the sun. Thanks again, Zach. Yep. You're welcome, man. So what do you guys think about the color? It's definitely different. In the sun, it's bright and the pearl really pops. But in normal light, it almost looks like the purple equivalent of a navy blue. It's not as flashy as the Lambo, but I think it suits the i8 quite well. And it's something of a rarity on this car, especially considering it is an original BMW color. All the credit, though, goes to Zach. He did an amazing job. In a few more weeks, we plan to wet sand and buff all the painted panels to give it that smooth, high-gloss finish. But in the meantime, I encourage you to subscribe to Zach's channel, where he's combining a junk jet ski and an old scooter to make the ultimate beach flex machine. And stay tuned here as I've been busy busting my knuckles on a new but pretty rare car project. As always, I can't thank each and every one of you enough for tuning in today. I'll catch you very soon. Anywhere you could have chose to gone, you went to the McDonald's, bro? I had to show it off. <laughs> Hate to sound like rich, but I forgot my wallet legitimately in the other car. <laughs> so. Either, so I guess we're oh. just going to take a little stroll around. Don't tell anybody. We both don't have our wallets driving a car freshly painted. They're going to type in the VIN, and it's going to come up a gray BMW, right? Mm -hmm.